Good morning and welcome to House of God's Grace Daily Devotion. Let us pray. Father God, I thank you for this morning. Lord, you have once again woken us up, Lord God. And I'm grateful, Lord God, just for the ability to breathe, Lord. Holy Spirit, come and take your place. Father, come and have fellowship with us. As we sit down your word, I pray for receptive hearts and minds and for teachable spirits, Lord God. Let those who have ears, let them hear, Father God. And let us not just listen, Lord, but let us run with what you have given us. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Good morning. Um, it is honestly a privilege to be able to share the word of God. It is not a thing that I take for granted. Um, I really am humbled to be able to do this every day. Not every day, but twice a week. And for those who don't know, I am Sister Zina Lean, and I am from House of God's Grace. We are situated in Stellenbosch, Cape Town, and our services are on a Sunday at 10 o'clock. Um, yeah, so please pull through if you are in the area or connect with me on Facebook. Um, I will gladly give you directions to get to our venue. Um, so yeah, let me get into today's word. Um, this morning is a bit different and I feel that this word is somewhat of a correction. Um, but I know like God, he rebukes those whom he loves. And as a father, when a child of, when a child is doing something wrong, it is our duty as a parent to correct the child and also in the hope that they will correct the behavior. And this morning's scripture when I woke up, the Lord gave it to me yesterday already. But I needed to unpack it and I need to understand what it was that God was saying to me. And this morning when I woke up, I was like, what is the scripture for this morning? And the scripture came up again. So it is Psalms 115 verse 6 and this is what it says. Um, they have ears, but they do not hear. Noses they have, but they do not smell. And I went back to read because it's important to read the scripture in context. And the they that has been referred to by David in the psalm is idols. So as we know, an idol is a statue if it's a if it's a if it's a, a thing, and they have ears. But they can't hear because they're not human. They have eyes, but they cannot see. And I was asking God, what, what is this? Why are we, what do you want to say to your people this morning with regards to this? And this is what I found. We, as God's people, we are like idols. We have ears, but we do not listen. We have eyes, but we do not see. And God is saying, it is time that my people stop being idols. What that means is that he's given us ears to hear, to listen. And he's given us eyes to see. But we, like idols, do not see. And we, like idols, do not hear. And this specific things allow us to be ineffective in our walks with the Lord. It allow us to be ineffective in our calling. Many have said that the time of God, of Jesus coming back is so near. And for a while now, our prophet has been saying, Where are you um, collecting or making your, or, or, yeah, collecting your treasures. Where, where are you, where are you storing them? Are you storing them on earth with material things? Or are you kingdom minded? Are you eternally minded? And it's so, it's a burden for me this morning because the workers, the work is so much, but the laborers are few. And a lot of us are in a spiritual slumber 
We are in a spiritual slumber. We are not allowing God to come close to us because we are not moving close to Him. Our God that we serve, He is a gentle God. He will not force Himself on you. But this morning He's saying to you, my people need to be using their eyes to see. They need to be using their ears to hear. And by a cure, sure. This word also says that they need to use, they, they have noses, but they cannot smell. We are his people. We have ears, we can hear. We have eyes, we can see. We have noses, we can smell. But you know what we are doing? We are choosing not to. We are choosing to turn a blind eye to the things that the Lord has directly told us, don't do that. We're still going to do it because our flesh has not submitted to our spirit. And the only time that your flesh is going to submit to your spirit is if you are going to train it. And how do you train it? You fast and you pray. Brother Nathan used to say to me, the fasting is just you telling your flesh who is boss. And if we are spiritual beings, that means that we need to walk in the spirit most of the time. We should not be walking in the flesh. You will know when you're not walking in the spirit because you are reacting as opposed to responding. This morning, the Lord is saying it is time that my people stop being like idols. You need to become intentional with the Lord, with your relationship with God. It is the end times, brothers and sisters. It is the end times. You cannot be wasting time on the things of this world. If you have been called by God to do a specific thing, if he has given you a calling, if he has called you out from your place, it is time that you get back to the heart of worship where it is all about Jesus. And no, it's not easy, but if you continuously do it, it is going to get better every single day. They have ears, but they do not hear. They have noses, but they do not smell. When are you going to use your eyes and your ears? It is time that you Quit what you are doing. Stop wasting time. And start working with the Holy Spirit. Start working out your relationship with the Lord. What are you busy with that is distracting you from walking out your calling? What habits have you formed that is directly Removing you from the Spirit of God. Whatever we put in our bodies. And it has a negative effect on us. We are killing our spirits. If you are putting in stuff in your body. That is making you feel bad about who you are. It is killing the spirit within. It is time to trust the Lord with your weaknesses. It is time to trust the Lord with your distractions. It is time that you get back to your devotion with the Lord. It's not going to be easy. It's going to take intentionality. It's going to take grit. It's going to take determination. But our God is worth it. He is worth it. The thief comes to steal, kill and destroy. But he says, I have come that you might have life and have it in abundance. Your calling, the anointing on your life is not cheap. It's going to cost you. It's going to cost you. The same way that it is costing you money to spend on things that is not conducive, is not good for your body, is the same way way that it's going to cost you not monetary it's going to cost you time it's going to cost you time your relationship with the lord is going to cost you time but it is so worth it if you are collecting your treasures in heaven and not on earth 
Stop being like idols. Start seeing. Start listening. Start hearing. There's a people out there that is God has called you to. And you have a responsibility to take up your mantle. Father God, I thank you for this morning. I thank you for this word, Lord God. I know, Lord God, that this is not going to sit well with many people. But Lord, obedience is better than sacrifice. So I pray, Lord, whoever needs to hear this word, under the sound of my voice, let them hear, Father God. Let those who have ears, let them hear, O Lord. Let those who have ears, let them hear. And right now, Father God, I ask that you open these spiritual eyes. That you open these spiritual ears. That you open their nose. Father God, you open each and every sense, Father God, that they have from their eyes to their mouth to their taste with everything father god right now in jesus name let it be activated in the mighty name of jesus father we cannot do anything without you and this morning i just declare that over us lord that we will incline our ear to you and that we will listen to your voice and we will follow you with all that we are in jesus mighty and holy name amen and amen i'm just reminded the disciples when God called them, he didn't say, sort out your life and then you come. He said, drop what you are doing and follow me. By your fun owns, many of us still want to sort out our stuff before we follow him. God isn't called the qualified, he qualifies the call. So stop wasting time. Whatever it is that you are going through, whatever weaknesses that you have, he will help you get through it because he says, without me, apart from me, you can't do nothing. He didn't ask you to be perfect. We want to say, no, when this happens, then I'm going to. No, the time is now. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening to me. I pray that you will heed to this word and that God would really meet you at your point, wherever you are. But the time is now. No longer. Are you going to allow the enemy to play with you? No longer. I refuse that for your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Prophet Nathan is online tomorrow at 1 o'clock. So please, if you haven't liked our Facebook page yet, please like our Facebook page so that you can get the notifications um, for when we are going to go online. Um, have a fantastic day and I'll see you again next week, Tuesday. God bless you.